what's going on my people guys we are back checking out more analog horror for you guys today and this one is going to be based off another cartoon now we actually did check out various tv takeovers especially with spongebob all of those creepy videos that we did check out in the past this one is actually based off an interesting one i never thought to see a tom and jerry analog horror or even a tv takeover let's go ahead and check this out guys we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in Let's do it. All right, guys, starting off, we're on the channel called The Homies. Now, this is the Night Drive 1989 Tom and Jerry Analog Horror. This is, I believe, one of three, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and check this out. Three minutes, 45. Let's go. Tom and Jerry. Well, okay. It was... I was looking a bit too close to the screen, dude. The bag was falling into the water. Get some this. Oh, Yo, Tom and Jerry is an all time favorite classic. One of my very, very favorite classic cartoons, hands down. I know what they're talking about now. Like with Bulldog. Password. I remember this Frankie. scene. Struck with flat iron while singing on a backyard fence. Pass. Wild. And wishes. Oh, so you didn't see the steamroller coming, huh? Go ahead. Steamroller? God, dude, this is morbid. Fluff, muff, and puff. <laughs> that dude. Hold on, before we continue, guys, who remembers this episode? Because I'm not going to lie, I never thought about that as a kid. I never thought about any of these kinds of bodies. Like, I didn't think about none of this. But, bro, it's way more morbid thinking about it now. God dang. It's been years since I've seen that episode, too. I reported this to the police. But I also tried to ignore the fact that the person looked abnormal. His face, his eyes, his mouth. I just moved into a new town that didn't know how safe it was. My new neighbor, Miss Mammy, the cat of Miles. Fascinating? Wait, so the lady was named Miss Mammy? That was her name? <laughs> Wait, was that it? Don't tell me that was it, bro. Oh. Guys, what was that Morse code? I'm, I'm very interested. I don't know Morse code. I know we've been over this plenty of times. Those of you who've been on my channel for the longest time, I don't know Morse code, but I know a lot of you do. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. All right, guys, next video is Dinner 1989 Tom and Jerry Analog Horror. Let's go ahead and check this out. Is it dinner or diner? I'm gonna say dinner, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay that much attention to it. 
could do the same thing the whole week they have gotten exhausted. Okay. Here's the pictures I took of them. Pictures? So where Tom you know, was depressed, was he? You could get that guy back in here, though. If you really wanted to. Couldn't you? What the heck was that smile going on? No, this wasn't me. My battery's died. God dang it. All of a sudden, I heard someone in my house. or something. Was it the dude at the bridge? Uh, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm invested in this. Let's go ahead and dive on into the next one. But, yo, guys, before we dive on into the next one, though, show the creator of this some love, please. This is really good. I'm actually enjoying the storyline of this one. All right, guys, so this one is called Tom Wins 1989 Tom and Jerry Analog Horror. Let's go ahead and check this out. It's eight minutes and three seconds. This is the longest one, out of, I think, out of the three-episode series. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's get it. Tom and Jerry, who would have thought, man? Tom and Jerry got an analog horror, and it's really good. <laughs> oh, it is the dude at the bridge. Or was at the bridge. Still in the same spot for minutes. Try to be as quiet as possible, but it looked like it was starting to staring into my soul.
I know the fact that he could still be in my house. He could have just thrown away in your attic. You never know. My gut told me to get up. And I did. Grandma, grandma, grandma. You didn't call the police, man? were off and my door was left open. Nope. Quickly closed and locked it. And I got the batteries from the drawer. My camera turned on and I went upstairs to my room. still chasing him. He was super close to hitting Jerry. And almost, yeah, that happened too many times. That's creepy, I'm not gonna lie to you. He fled. He wanted suffering. I called the cops. I mean, you can't really call them on a cat, bro. Did get Miss Mammy. God dang it, bro. Oh man. Show them the video, but they didn't believe me. This surprised me. Mammy. So I kept asking, is she okay? Kyle finally replied, no, she's deceased. Yeah.
calm was demented, bro. With no contact with any other animals. They think it was an abnormal person in my house. Kind of makes you think Tom connected with that abnormal person that dropped the cats in the water. Dr. Gale, I thought you might like another installment for your book. You have one so soon? Right out of the oven. Well, in that case, make yourself comfortable. You look as if you need a rest. Oh, I got a good night's sleep after the fireworks were over. Oh. No, don't tell me that was it, bruh. No, dude, it just ends like that, bro. This was this actually had me really invested. Yo, shout out to the creator. This was freaking dope. And also, guys, you know, just show the creator some love if you enjoyed this too. I think they're doing a, a Godzilla series too, so please show them some love if you're interested in that too. But yo, this is freaking fire. And I never would have thought to see a, you know, a unique twist with a Tom and Jerry analog horror, like I normally keep seeing SpongeBob or, you know, things mixed with creepy pastas and analog horrors too, or even other cartoons that can be turned into something hor uh, horror based. But first time seeing a Tom and Jerry one and it was freaking fire. So guys, like I said, show the creators some love and also show me some love. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Also hit that sub button too. I do greatly appreciate you guys. Join the Legendary Army today. I do greatly appreciate that. And besides that, I'll see you all in the next one.